Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions and welcome back to another episode in the Help Desk series. It's been a while since we've done one of these videos, but we're gonna try to make more here in the future. And the information that we're talking about in this video today will not only help you in a entry level role, but it will also help you as you are moving further into your career. You're gonna get these types of questions and you might have this response. I don't know. At some point and even multiple points in your career, you're gonna run across issues or troubleshooting problems where you just don't know how to fix it, what to do, what your next steps are, and then what happens? You have an end user who is communicating with you. They're on the phone with you and they're telling you about their issue and you're looking into it and you don't know. Like, how do you get over that. Before we go any further, this video is sponsored by Cyberry.it. If you're looking for IT training geared towards CompTIA, Cisco, Microsoft, and so much more, make sure you guys check out the link in the description below for Cyberry.it. Use the coupon code ITCQ50, save 50% off your premium membership. How do you respond to something when you don't know? Because the last thing that you want is to relay that to your end users. You don't want your end users to lose any type of uh, trust in you or uh, validation within your knowledge because here's the thing about IT, and that's something that I've talked about many times before. Everybody who works in IT is expected to know everything about IT from end users. Now, the reality of things is you don't need to know everything to work in IT. Nobody knows everything about technology who works in IT. There's so many different technologies that you would have to know and understand. It's impossible. Nobody knows everything. Nobody is an expert in everything. So there are things you're just gonna know nothing about and it's okay. I've worked in this field for a very long time and there are still things that I don't know. You can speak with other professionals who've worked in this field for 10, 20, 30 plus years. They still run across things that they don't know anything about. They have to do their research. They have to ask their coworkers for any types of tips and advice. That's part of working in IT. It's constantly evolving. You're constantly learning new things. So what happens when you don't know? How do you relay this to your end user? Because this is what's important, maintaining communication with your end users and assuring that they can trust you. So when you run across these types of scenarios, I'm gonna give you guys some canned responses that you can use that will greatly help you. The first classic response is, let me check on some things in the background and get back to you. Next up, this is a newer issue, so we are still working on a solution. Then there's, I'm going to check and see if there's a current workaround. And the last one is, this issue may have already been reported. I'll go check to see if there's an update. Please feel free to adjust any of these canned responses to fit your specific environment a little bit more and put your own spin on it if you would like. But these are great responses that you can give to your end users that both Reassure them you will communicate back with them, but it's also showing initiative to try to get that issue resolved. And it's not saying you don't know. It's a great way to just kind of filter past an issue when you're having a lot of trouble. Because I've been in these situations before where I'm on the phone with somebody and I have no idea what's going on. And they're pressuring me, trying to get this issue resolved. And I'm just completely clueless, stumbling through things, trying to Google things while they're on the phone with me. So the best way is to really get them off of the phone by giving one of these canned responses and making sure that you follow up with them. One of the key things to any type of IT job when you're working with end users is communication. You always want to be sure that you are communicating with your end users on any issues that they're having and giving them realistic expectations on when they can hear back from you. So if you're going to tell them this issue may have already been reported, I'll go check to see if there's an update. You might also want to say, let me get back to you in 10 minutes. But the important thing here is get back to them in 10 minutes or less. You wanna make sure that your end users have faith in you and what you're doing. So now when you're trying to figure out what's going on with this issue, make sure you turn to your coworkers, turn to Google, utilize every single resource you have open to you to try to get this issue resolved. Now, there may be times where it's something that is going to take more work, but you need to follow up with these users and let them know it's going to take more time. It's not something that we can get done today. Maybe it's not something you can get done tomorrow, 
but reassuring them that you're looking into it, you're trying to find a solution, you're seeing what's going on, and giving them a realistic time frame on when they can hear back from you next. Now, whether that issue is going to be resolved the next time they hear from you or not, that doesn't really matter. You wanna make sure you contact them and just let them know a status. So I hope this video helped you guys out. As I said, whether you're getting into entry level or you're furthering your career, this advice will help you in any aspect of this field. I hope you guys appreciate this video. If you guys like it, make sure you give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, take it easy.